This would be 12. So let's see. If we had, oh, that wouldn't do it. So let's go in life, sure. So we go that into chord for doot, 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 doot. And this. So that's four. Resto blinks eternal witness. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. So we're, we're one short of being able to combo on her turn. So am I supposed to. We could cord for Pia and Karindalar and hit the Garrick, so that can't overrun us next turn. I should have brought in Phyrexia and Revoker for the Planeswalkers. I didn't do that. I just want to confirm that I'm one off one more time. So this is cord for four, and then we have four, seven, so we have one short. It starts with the cord for four. How much does the Garrick minus actually do? So he's, all of his guys are going to get 4-4 four, in four Trample next turn. So that's 5-8. Yeah, just plenty lethal. Yeah, so we have to... We have to snug the Garrick here. There's a Cord on top of our deck. So if we can live through this turn... So we're going to take 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, we're going to take 8, and then 12, um, I think I need to Ghost Quarter the Kessig Wolf Run. So we can block two 4 power guys, and that... We block two 4 power guys, I'm, I'm seeing if we can afford to pay life with Spellskite. So we block two four power guys, and then we take eight, 16, 17, 18. So we can afford to spell skate it and keep our land. So we need to we need to do that because then on our next turn, we can cord for Resto and cord for Kiki, I believe. Yeah, so we can we can afford to spell skate this, which actually means I messed up by tapping the wall of roots. I didn't need to put a counter on the wall of roots, but Moto wouldn't let me undo that anyways. So I could have tapped the ghost quarter and left wall of roots. So I think we might be one short next turn. Plus Moto's bugged and I can't tap wall of roots plus put a counter on it anyways. So if this is a paper game where the client's not messed up, we could win, but we can't win on Magic Online. So had this not been Magic Online, we could win. Block each 12, 22, so yeah, block. Hmm. It's a good thing that they didn't see that line. Yeah, should have ghost quartered, I guess. Thirteen four spell sky, you know, details. Q 
So get Resto, Blink Witness, get back Cord, and then we're short. Yep. All right, well, we're going to end the League 3-2 because Moto's bugged. Uh, that seems like a good of a reason as any to stop stop playing this game and uh, play a reasonable card game. So I'm going to uh, I'm gonna keep streaming for another hour or two maybe, but uh, I'm going to play some Hex. Let's see. Yeah, if the, if the wall's not bugged, uh, I could have... I could have I could have won by not by or if I could have undone the wall. I needed to be able to undo the wall and and have it not be bugged. So. Peace, Tommy Michelle. Play some Winter Moon Control. If you haven't checked out Hex before, I'd highly recommend it. It's a really sweet game. Good night, folks. If you're taking off, I appreciate you hanging out. Hex crashed. I'll do that. Uh, drafting is not free on Hex. Drafting cost, I believe it's uh, three boosters and one dollar. Yeah, it's half the price. It's seven, seven tickets altogether. You can farm for the boosters in Hex, though, off the free free to play part. Uh, to be fair, Matt, I'm running the the Windows client on Linux through Wine, so you know. All right, tournaments. Join constructed gauntlet. I've been playing this really sweet control deck. It just like dirtles and draws a bunch of cards. Yep, I already I already switched which uh, which game we're playing. I just fixed it, man. <laughs> my VI is miserable. Nano is much better.
Check your private messages on Slack if you're without. Yep. Passed out. This isn't an ad work. You get you get paid to run ads. This is just I like playing hex. It's a sweet game. The client does make me want to look at it. You know, it's got all those those. Although I have to look, it's more graphic intensive than Moto. Sweet. I got both my colors. I got some can trips and some cards that affect the board. I think Hex is as good as MTG. I don't know the mechanics. The fact that it has mechanics you can't do in a regular paper card game make it makes it a little bit more interesting. I think. So this card's kind of like boomerang, but it makes the opponent's card cost one more. And then this card lets us look at the top card to keep the amount of blue effectively mana that we have. You have these shards instead of land. So unlike Hearthstone where you get free resources every turn, this is closer to magic in that you still have to uh, put effectively land cards or shards into your deck to draw. He didn't do anything here, so we get to peek at the end step. Audio to slightly stutter. Uh, let me kill some of my extra tabs in the background here. My laptop is not the most powerful. And Chrome, I'm just going to kill. Chrome's kind of a hog. We're going to grab a counterspell here. Kill some background processes here. Um, Is the audio still lagging? I'm going to try and kill. It's a bit better now, but still gonna do something. Alright, my game client just started running better too since I killed Chrome, so it's a resource hog. Mm -hmm. 